Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY, guys. My name is Jake, and as you can see, we are out here on a tree job today. We got all the equipment here. We got the bucket, international, chipper, tractor, all the guys. Joe's up in the bucket, first culprit. He's taking down this big oak. Half of it, as you can probably tell, has already broken out years ago. And uh, this side is leaning really heavy over the fence in the neighbor's property. So uh, Joe's up in the bucket and we're gonna be taking this thing down. I'm gonna be bringing the chipper over on the other side of the fence, the neighbor's property, where we'll be chipping it up. And uh, Chris is going to be pruning some trees over on this side, uh, climbing. So decent sized job today. Let's get going. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a little bit of voiceover here um, to explain certain parts. So as you can see here, I'm running out, putting the winch on the piece. Um, I'm over here by myself because Chris was over on the other side of the fence climbing and pruning some other trees. And uh, you know, the winch is like having another guy. It's a big help. As you can see, Joe's taking big pieces because um, he only has limited reach with the bucket and they're coming down fast as you can see. So the winch is a huge help in scenarios like this. Going good. Looks like Joe is able to take pretty big pieces from where he can reach. But keep in mind, this is only a 55 foot working height bucket, um, but there isn't really too much below it. I mean, there's a fence in the shed, but we got a nice landing zone here because the tree leans. So he can pretty much take big pieces. James is running the ropes on the other side of the fence with the friction brake, and I've been chipping up. So Things are going well. Hopefully Joe doesn't have to get up out of the bucket to climb. He might have to with that one piece going off to the left there, but it's looking good. Keep chugging along. You want me to pull it out? All right, guys, I know the sun is right backlight in the tree pretty bad, but as you can see, Joe's up there. We got brushed down on the ground over here. We only, we really only have like one liter left. Uh, Chris has been making headway over climbing. I don't know if you can see him. He's like a little orange dot up in the trees over there. 
but uh, we just got this one liter left and uh, then we're pretty much gonna be on the wood. So this job is going real well so far. This oak, uh, we weren't quite sure if Joe's, how much he was gonna be able to reach with the bucket. I don't know why it's so backlit like that. I am sorry, it's a really foggy day, but uh, everything's going well. Dump closes at 12.30, so our main concern is getting all the chips to the dump by 12.30, and then uh, if need be, we can you know leave wood here or take it back to the, to the wood yard. But uh, we're gonna pull the chipper in here once Joe gets the rest of this puppy down. Okay, so this gives a pretty good vantage point. You can see what I'm doing and you can see what James is doing over on the right side of the screen. James is controlling the rope and that device that's tied to the tree is a friction brake. And you can see I just put the winch on the tail end of the piece there and I just ran back to the chipper and we're now totally winching the piece over to the chipper, fully suspended in the air. Um, because these bigger wood pieces can do a lot of damage to the grass and we wanna try and avoid that. So. That's how we get big pieces of wood over to the chipper without destroying the ground. Okay guys, oak tree is brushed out, Big Joe up there, awesome job as usual. Chris is back with us, how'd it go back there? Went good, we got all three trees climbed, pruned, and ready to chip. Alright, so what do we got, a couple more over there we got to prune with the bucket? Uh, we just got the, uh, the one dead maple in the front to take down. Beautiful, that's what I like to hear. It is currently 926, dump closes at 1230, just got a little bit more chipping to do, if I gotta go run home with a load of chips. That's no problem. I just like to get all this wood to the dump because I don't want to have to come back uh, to get it. This job, I mean, this is really nice oak. I would love to have this back at the wood yard. This job is about an hour away from our house. Um, so, and the wood yard. So uh, it's just easier to take it to the dump. That way I don't have to make two trips um, with the trailer and then have to come back for the tractor. But Chris is cleaning up stuff here. We're gonna bomb down a couple pieces of wood and then I think the plan is to drop the whole oak stick down between that cluster of maples and that oak over there.
guys, quick update here. Here's the plan. Joe's gonna be pulling the bucket out. I'm gonna be backing the chipper and stuff in right here. We're gonna chip up this brush. Then I'm gonna pull out. We're gonna drop that stick, uh, cut that up into log length that the tractor can pick up. And then we are going to be loading it into the dump trailer. While we are doing that, Joe is going to be bringing the bucket over here where he's going to be stripping all these suckers off this oak tree up to like the big split there. Just make it look a little bit more presentable. And then we are going to take down this red maple here that is like teetering on the edge of this little stream, all rotten. It, uh, the back leader, this big de dead top in it, you can kind of see there. So that's coming down. And then Joe is going to move the bucket over here. Well, he's actually going to start back here, but he's going to be getting these couple dead tips on this maple, dead branch over here that Chris uh, didn't get. And then we're going to chip up all the stuff from the three trees that Chris climbed. So that's the plan. Let's make it work. By the way, I just drove this thing to move it out of the way. Couldn't even figure out how to start it, but uh, pretty cool car. X marks the spot. Perfect drop. It was a little tough because we had this fence right here, as you can see, uh, got a little oily, but that's all right. We didn't nick it at all. And uh, look at that hinge. I cut through all the way here because obviously I didn't want it pulling towards the fence. Left a big fat hinge on this side. It uh, tapers and gets a little bit wider headed this way, but all this holding wood is perfect landed exactly where we wanted it. Now we're gonna cut it up, load it into the dump trailer. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
Tons of water gushing out of this thing. See all the water there. I'm trying to be careful not to hit the hit the fence. There we go. Beautiful. See, this thing was wet in the middle. All that wood was pouring out, or all that water was pouring out of the wood. But uh, it also had a bunch of ants in it, so. There were some, definitely some good logs of firewood in there, but like I said, we're about an hour away. Diesel's seven, seven dollars a gallon. There's no need for us to bring these uh, couple logs back home. So, gonna get this loaded up. Curl back. All right, just like that. 1054. Last log from the oak. All loaded up in the trailer. James and Joe. I don't think so, not for right now. James and Joe got one half of that maple brushed out. They got the oak all pruned up with all the suckers. We're in good shape here. Okay guys, so what's going on here is that Joe is dropping one of the sticks to that maple along the stream there and uh, they have a rope tied to the stick that's going to the tractor and then James is also controlling the fall of the stick. As you can see, it's going nice and slow with another rope set to a block up in the uh, remaining trunk there. So they're able to drop it down nice and slow as you can see there. That way it didn't come crashing down on the little stone retaining wall or onto the driveway. So here's a second vantage point from uh, Chris's side and you'll be able to see the two ropes, one going to the tractor and one going back up to the uh, tree in the back to control the fall. All right guys, I just got back from dumping the can of chips and as you can see, we've taken the tarp off, already started loading up the wood. Chris is on the tractor. Joe and James dropped these uh, two spars across the stream here, and Chris is pulling them out and loading them up in the can. Then we will do our final cleanup here. Uh, James is actually starting that over the wall, and uh, that's gonna be a wrap. So, job is going really well. Time update, 12.15.
right, guys, we're on our way back. We got Chris towing the tractor and the big tool rack. Oh, yeah. Getting a bit of traffic here. All right, guys, this is many hours later. We are back at the house. We finished the job around, let's say like 1.30. I finally got back around like 2.45. There was a lot of traffic on the road. Headed back home, but we got everything done. I forgot to do a final, you know, like once over and show you guys the final finished product, but I think you got the gist of it with all the footage of us uh, cleaning up and like raking and blowing and everything. We did a pristine job. Um, the town that we were working in, there's no exception. You, you, you got to do top notch work. Otherwise, you won't get hired back. Um, it's a very wealthy and affluent town and, uh, you know, nothing but the best. So that's what we delivered. The customer was super happy. This was like the third time we've done tree work for them. Um, so they're definitely going to call us back. The, the homeowner owns multiple properties in that town. So, uh, that's always a good thing. Um, <laughs> I don't even have my tripod out here. I, I, I'm just totally spacing out, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All my guys, Joe, James, Chris, you guys did a bang up job. Um, thank you so much for all the help today. Um, if you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It would really help me and the channel out. Any questions, comments, or feedback, throw it down in the comments section. But for now, I am Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.